Hello Capricorn and welcome to your timeless love reading. I meditated on your cards. We've got a lovely chunk of rose crystal quartz there. And as usual, I'm going to be using two decks for your love reading. And with the pink deck here, the Tinseltown Tarot, that will be our clarifying deck at the end. And we're using the miniature uh, Hanson Roberts deck here. So Capricorn, let's see what's been happening in your love life recently. got the king of Pen king of pentacles there temperance and the magician nice so we've got stability there with the king of pentacles and there's balance coming into a situation here and you could be manifesting the one that you want, Capricorn. Let's see. Mm, but there's a bird in there. The Ten of Rods there. There's a burden or something has been a burden to you in a relationship. But you're nearing the end of that cycle now. Let's see. Okay, four of pentacles there. Could be dealing with a stubborn person here. Or someone who doesn't want to let go. Let's find out some more. Okay. We've got the Eight of Swords, and we've got the Four of Cups. Yeah, there's discontentment here. You're trying to manifest a new start, and you want to put down. There's a burden here, but it's as if you can't let go. And what's happening is you seem to be looking into your past mistakes or into your past relationships. And you're not seeing what's coming in for you. I mean, you've got, with the magician there, you've got all the tools you need to manifest the relationship that you want. I mean, you know, there's a new start here. But you're still looking into a past relationship. Or maybe you're having a hard time in letting that person go. But if we've got a new start here, there's a new offer. It's as if you're looking back at past at a past relationship where you may have gone wrong. I mean, with Eight of Swords, you can. That woman can free herself at any time. She just needs to take the blindfold off and walk away. You know, a lot of the problems could be in your mind with this. You know, thinking maybe on the negative side of what could go wrong instead of what could you manifest to go right. Hmm. Let's get further clarification see where this story goes okay we've got one that's flipped over there yeah this victory here this is the six of wands six of rods you've got to trust your gut with this that someone is walking away someone wants to be victorious with you capricorn but you are you're not interested as if you're, you're either walking away from it or you are holding on to someone else 
holding on to a past lover, maybe. If someone wants victory with you here. It's as if you can't let go of a past relationship. Yeah, you feel left out in the cold. Somebody left you out in the cold, Capricorn. Did somebody walk away from you? Mm. Oh, right, there we go. There's the Three of Swords. Was it down to somebody else? Did they leave you for somebody else or did you leave somebody else to be with this person? Because we've got the standard three of court, three of swords there, which is the heartbreak card, third party. Five of swords, you've had enough playing around with... maybe bickering silly lies things like that so you decided to come away from that just to stop engaging with that connection and you've got the nine of rods here and you've got the world as well something's coming to a, an end and something new is starting As I say, with this card here, you're walking away from somebody. So you're finding it difficult to walk away from them. You're finding it hard to let go. But you feel left out in the cold with this person. Was this the person that's uh, broken your heart, Capricorn? King of Pentacles. Usually very dependable. King of Swords. You've got clarity on the situation now. Let's clarify the King of Pentacles. Yeah, decisions been made with this person, or you're going to try, you're trying to make a decision, and you're deciding what's real and what's not real. You know, can you trust this person? Your swords are up, your blindfolds on, and you're trying to decide whether you can trust this person or not. Ace of Rods. You want a passionate new start with somebody. So it's as if you can't let go of the past. Maybe they've hurt you in the past. They may have cheated or... There's been a breakdown with a relationship here because they walk, someone walked away. Someone fell out in the cold. Yeah, and the Queen of Pentacles reversed. So here we've got the King of Pentacles. And then we've got the Queen of Pentacles reversed. You've turned your back on this person. Because of what they've done. But you still can't let them go. Maybe it's you that's left them out in the cold. And it's you that's walked away. Because of this. But 
that they're still fighting for the relationship. Mm. They see you as their star. And what's on the bottom of the deck? The Knight of Rods. They want to come in and make it up with you, but you are concentrating on you, Capricorn, at the moment. Let's clarify with our second deck. I think this relationship's just become too much. It's become too much of a burden. And you've had enough because you've pulled back. You're normally so loving and some and stable and in this you're you've, you've reacted in a way that's left that person thinking you you're the ice queen you know that you've pulled back your emotions because there's a decision that needs to be made on this and it's as if you can't forget past mistakes that that person may have made Six of Wands. Mm. You're doing you at the moment, Capricorn. You're inner reflecting and you're doing you. You're concentrating on you. Three of Wands. And you're going out with your friends. There could be a third party in this, or there could have been a third party involved with the breakdown of this connection. Judgment is coming. Mm. You're going to announce what you've decided. We are going to be announcing. Yes, you've got the strength now. And you've got the clarity and the peace of mind. It's like head over heart. You're putting your head over your heart. In this situation, in this connection. You're having to use all your strength not to let your emotions take over in this situation because I think if, if your emotions took over in this situation you would find it very difficult to let this person go. So you're trying to be strong in this. I'll take that one. King of Wands. There's a lot of fiery energy here in this reading. There's a lot of passion. I mean, King of Wands is the king of passion. Well, there's your suitcase, Capricorn. Are you going on holiday? Are you taking some time out? Looks like you're taking some time out, or you're going to have, you're get either going to be going abroad and visiting someone. There's the plane there, or you've got news coming in. But this is a card of action. You know, someone's going to announce what they're going to do and either pack their bags and go off somewhere else, or they're just going to take a holiday away from the situation. Maybe you'll take holiday with this person to try and have a new start with them. Yeah, you could you could be doing that. You could be you could be getting back together with this person, going to sunnier climes, going on holiday together, getting away from everyone. There's happiness coming in here. It's 
spending time together trying to work through giving, giving each other equal give and take giving each other time but there's happiness here the sun is the happiest card in the deck six of swords someone's still thinking about leaving someone's still thinking about getting in the car and going maybe if they're not going to make a, a proper commitment to you you're going to leave the connection because you think you're dealing with a, a player you think they've got other people interested in them or they're entertaining others here mm. you still think they're entertaining other people again the five of pentacles somebody feels left out here somebody feels that they're not being paid they're not being paid attention enough attention here in this connection and the other the the, 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 the person you're dealing with is paying other people attention and not you Swords. You're reflecting on all of this. You're reflecting, trying to decide what to do. looking into this you're looking into the situation with great detail here and the six of pentacles dramas and the four of wands you want a happy home life with this person you want stability and they could be offering that so what went wrong you think that they've been playing away you think that they're entertaining other people they're not paying you enough attention I mean, guys, this could be, it's not going to be for every Capricorn on the planet. Just take what resonates and uh, please leave the rest behind. Yeah. Someone's reflecting on the situation here. I think you're going to take yourself out of this situation. Maybe you're going to go away on holiday to clear your head, to make a decision. You know, there's a lot going on inside you, Capricorn. I don't think the other person realises how much. King of Cups. Mr. Mr. Emotions there, Mr. Lover Lover. Well, it's up, it's on the upright, so they've got uh, they've got a lot of love for you. Whoever this is, okay. And we've got two that shot out there. Mm, we've got the death card reversed, and we've got the page of swords reversed. Yeah. They don't want to accept that this could come to an end. And they regret what they've done. For it to get to this. And there's that suitcase again. 
they've either pushed you away or someone else has been involved and you're leaving or you've decided to go on holiday by yourself but there you are at the bus stop you're leaving yes you want to start a new journey or they or it's that they want to start a new you know a clean a slate with you they want to start fresh no you're doing you queen of pentacles you're quite happy doing you at the moment capricorn mm. let's take a few more the chariot and there you are you've got to make this decision one way or the other Are you going to step out on the red carpet? Or are you going to stay in the car? It looks like you're about to step out onto the carpet. You know, you've got two choices here. You can either leave or stay. No, there's a tower. Something's coming to an end. Something's coming to an end so you can have a new beginning here. There's two people falling from the tower. It may be that they this person's tried to save this relationship or connection with you. Or vice versa, but something is definitely there's a cycle coming to an end here. Yeah, and there's a ten of swords. It's it's got to finish. Something's got to finish in order for something else to start. So let's have some clarification on what's what's going to be the new chapter. What's going to be the new start? Because this is dead in the uh, in the water here. Yeah. This person's been stabbed in the back, stabbed in the heart. What's going to be the new start here? No, someone's still crying over something here. what's going to be the new start here there's too many that shot out there what's going to be the new start here I need some clarification on this there's choices here seven of cups maybe you want to date other people You've got choices there, Capricorn. Well, their cups are spilt. Everyone else is offering you a cup. Yeah, and they, they're disillusioned with everything. They can't even see the person who's offering them a, a cup of champagne. A glass of champagne. Four of cups. Because they know they've messed up. In this connection you're going to be out enjoying yourself and they're having to deal with what's happened with their, with obviously what they may have caused in this connection you're not giving anything away Capricorn you're not giving anything away.
and you're getting balance and clarity in this relationship or in this situation it's important that you stay calm in this situation and that you balance your emotions in order to have a good out outcome here with this mm. Capricorn, this is complicated but I don't think you complicated the connection I think that was somebody else Mm, and two of saw, uh, two of wands. That was actually on the bottom of the deck. It's just now come out again. You're going off, enjoying yourself. You're looking into the future, into your future. Whether this person comes along with you or not, it's not looking like it at the moment. But you're looking at your future. Maybe again looking at going the world on holiday. Knight of Swords. This person may have been a player. Or they're rushing back in to try and get you back. Ten of Wands. Yes, yeah, it's, it's been... It's a burden. This is a burden for you. I think you're going to start afresh and you're going to put the burden down we had we had the ten of wands way back here i think yeah we got the ten of wands there and the ten of wands there i mean it's very clear on this card that this has become too much you know you've carried this for long enough but you've got to keep calm and balanced in the situation And there we go, got the Ten of Pentacles there, which is a happy family. And the surprise, there's going to be some kind of, fa after all of this, there's going to be some kind of family celebration. So maybe if you take some time out, Capricorn, this person's going to come rushing back in after seeing... Clearly, they're not happy without you. And they're going to surprise you. With their cup of love. And the Wheel of Fortune. What a complete turnaround. Ace of Wands. Yep. This is a good reading now. It's taken a long time to get to that point, but I think that the way I'm seeing this reading is that somebody needs to be taught a lesson on how to treat you, basically. And once they realise, they're going to come back and you're going to get it back together. And there's family happiness here. But again, there's that decision. There's that decision maybe to take a break before all of this. And the hanged man again. You're going to put someone in a timeout, Shadow yeah, Capricorn. Without a doubt. You're going to put someone in a timeout, chair. Yeah. While you decide what you're going to do. But in the end. You've got reconciliation here. They're going to come. Flying back in. Offering you their love. It's going to lead to happy families. And the wheel of fortune there. Well I hope you've enjoyed your reading Capricorn. Please like, comment, subscribe. Click the little notification bell. Um, I do like reading your comments and uh, I do love doing these readings for you. There'll be some more surprises um, as we come on later into this month. 
um, and also I'm going to start doing some more readings for you uh, with different tarot decks I own um, starting probably in a couple of weeks time so if you click the little notification bell you'll be notified when I update those thanks again as always always believe in yourself and uh, follow your dreams stay blessed guys <laughs>